First here tonight, police are still trying to understand what led to a man to shoot and kill a woman and then move to a gas station where he shot and killed another person and injured two others, according to investigators. Hello, everyone. I'm Doug Profit. And I'm Lisa Hudson. Elizabethtown police believe this man was behind it all. 35 year old Shadrach Peeler. Tyler Emery has been talking with police down in Elizabethtown about what happened. The number of flowers and balloons and other memorials have just been growing throughout the day. I have been here at the gas station watching just people after people come to pay their respects. All of them telling me that this is where they went to get their lottery tickets or their food or gas. And they all say that they can't believe something like this could happen here. The man who allegedly shot and killed two and injured two others late last night has been identified. Police say this man, 35 year old Shadrach Peeler, is facing several charges, including two counts of murder. Peeler reportedly shot and killed a woman police say he was living with on West Warfield Street. Police say he then walked to the T-Mark gas station on North Mills Road, where he shot three people, one of those killed. Peeler then went back to Warfield Street, where officers say he resisted and was eventually then taken into custody. We spoke with one of those victims. She was shot at the T-Mart and then drove to a nearby park where she called 911. She says she thought she was going to die. Scary. I, I mean, I didn't know what to think. I, I was more worried about if they was okay at the store. Like, they was more up close than I was. Like, thank God my door was right there because I couldn't have been here today. Police have not released the names of the two victims killed yet. And the latest update from police when I spoke with them this afternoon, they still don't know if there's any connection between Peeler and those he shot at the gas station. So many of those people who have stopped by here today to pay their respects telling me that they are just heartbroken. They plan to hold a candlelight vigil here tonight at 7. Reporting in Elizabethtown, I'm Tyler Emery, WHAS 11 News.